If you're in Saudi Arabia, you might have noticed that making calls through apps like WhatsApp, Skype, or FaceTime isn't as straightforward as it is in other countries. In this video, I'm going to walk you through which calling apps work in Saudi Arabia and how you can use a VPN like AeroShield to unblock those that don't. Let's start with the basics. Saudi Arabia has restrictions on many VoIP, voice over internet protocol, services. This means apps like WhatsApp, Skype, and FaceTime are either fully or partially blocked. This can be a big inconvenience, especially if you're trying to stay connected with friends and family abroad. But don't worry, there are a few apps that do work without needing any special setup. First on the list is Bottom. It's one of the most commonly used apps in Saudi Arabia because it's approved by the government. Another app you can use is Imo. Both of these apps are available for download on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store, and they work without any issues in the kingdom. Now, what if you prefer using more popular apps like WhatsApp or Skype? That's where a Era Shield comes in handy. Era Shield helps you bypass these restrictions by masking your location. When you connect to a VPN, it makes it appear as though you're accessing the internet from another country where these apps aren't blocked. So, to sum it up, in Saudi Arabia, you have apps like Bottom and Immo that work without any extra steps. But if you want to use apps like WhatsApp, Skype, or FaceTime, a VPN like AeroShield is your best friend. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech tips and guides. And if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.